welcome back guys to another episode of Unreal Engine 4 tutorials and in the previous video we created a system that allows us to build our pickup items like so and in this video we are going to try to pick these up by right clicking on them or yeah but or basically just by doing any other button that we desire so without further ado I bring this to you let's go to well I'm gonna begin with the inventory system folder and inside of here so um, if we want to interact with a specific object then we usually need to cast to this specific object but since we have many uh, pickup items and they have separate classes um, and they are basically separate objects this will make us write a lot of cast to nodes so how do we fix this issue is we use a blueprint interface so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a blueprint where it is there it is blueprint interface and I'm gonna call this pickup interface and inside of here I am going to create a new input which is going to be a actor and the type also is going to be a actor so by using this we will know which actor is interacting with the object and I'm gonna rename this function to pickup item like so so we can compile and save and now we need to go to our pickups and I'm only going to begin right now with my spawn pickup I'm gonna select the not the class default class settings and in the class settings here we have interfaces and I'm going to add my interface which I called pickup interface and I'm gonna compile and save great now I can go to my third person character in order to pick up an item I'm going to use my mouse right button so I'm gonna add a mouse right button event and on pressed I'm going to do a I don't want to do a line trace because that means that we need to shoot our ray very very directly at our item and it can't miss it for not even a single pixel so I'm going to do a box trace by channel and for this channel I'm going to use a visibility trace channel and I'm going to add a follow camera so I'm gonna get a follow camera and I need to get world location like this and I need to get forward vector like this so the starting point is going to be the let's say get world location and the end point will be similar to our build mode I'm going to multiply this by float vector times float and I'm gonna make this a little bit closer which will be let's say 400 and I'm gonna add vector plus vector so I'm going to add this to world location which is going to be our endpoint like this great and for the half size I'm going to make this let's say like 100 100 now it's going to be too big so I'm going to make this like 50 50 50 and I'm going to draw debug type for duration so that I would see how big of a box I am creating so let's go in the game let's press play and on the right mm. this could actually be the start position rather than the end position 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the start position. I'm going to make this the start position and for the end position I'm going to copy these nodes like so. Connect them the same way and I'm going to make this 600 like this. There we go. Let's test this out. Yeah, I think I prefer this way better. So if we are in front of the item, we can just click on it and it's going to pick it up. Yeah, this this seems way better. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I will separate my items a bit uh, so that we wouldn't like cast to every single one of our items because as we noticed we already hit the floor and we don't want to cast to our floor so I'm gonna go to my spawn pickup I'm gonna click on this spawn pickup self and I'm gonna type in a tag and I'm gonna add a tag which is going to be a pickup you can name this whatever you like just remember that you tagged this as a pickup so I'm gonna compile and save go back to my third person character and here in this box trace I'm gonna do a if check to see if we did hit something and if we did hit something I'm gonna break my out hit and for this hit actor I'm gonna drag from it and I'm gonna type in tag actor has tag actor has tag and the tag needs to be pickup and if we did hit something then I'm gonna check again if it has this tag and if it has this tag I'm going to do a pickup item message so this creates our interface and for the actor I'm going to use self so that we could cast to our self later on and yeah uh, <laughs> before I clicked this I already knew that I made a mistake well kind of we need to connect this target to our hit actor as well because so that we we want this to cast to our pickup item so there we go that's all that we need in our third person character so I'm gonna copy it uh, comment this mouse right button slash pickup item there we go now I'm gonna go to my pickup item close this and I'm going to create a pickup item event event pickup item and as you can see we have our actor and I'm going to cast to third person character which is going to cast to the character which run ran this um, interface and as this character I'm going to add item and this item is going to be our item data there we go and I'm going to destroy the actor once it's been added so now we can compile and save let's test this out so these have the old system still we haven't updated it yet so don't get confused I just picked them up and I'm gonna build our newly created uh, spawned pickup item like so and if we right click I think we picked up a carrot <laughs> I didn't check before but so we have number uh, three logs six stones so I'm gonna right click so we picked up and we picked up and now we have four logs seven stones awesome so now let's implement the same functionality to our other pickups so I'm gonna open these all up like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove these functions for the pickup because we don't need them also I'm gonna remove the collision boxes like so there we go remove all of these like that and then I'm gonna oh one more item carrot carrot don't forget about the carrot I'm gonna select the pickup carrot self tag add a pickup there we go compile save same goes for this tag pickup compile and save stick tag 
pickup, compile and save, log, tag, pickup. Compile and save, and we need to copy this function event pickup item from, I'm gonna copy this from our spawn pickup, so I don't need to recreate, uh, retype the, this whole event all the time. But if we open this up and we try to copy it directly, you can see it gives us some conflict nodes substituted during paste. And this gives us just a regular custom event. I'm going to delete this. This is because first we need to click on class defaults and we need to add our pickup interface to every single one of our pickups. Then compile, save, and then we can paste this in like so. And it works. So now again, class defaults, pickup interface, compile, paste in, compile again. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of my pickups. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now if we go in game, press play, you can see that we can throw these items around, kick them all over the place. Like so. Same goes for the sticks and the carrots, but if we right click, we are actually picking these items up. Awesome! Isn't this great guys? It's just amazing! <laughs> so, now I need to remove this silly box that I don't want to see. So I just go back to my third person character to this box trace by channel from the route ma right mouse button and change this draw debug type to none. And this is as simple as it gets. I think this this should be the most simplest tutorial yet in my series because I think the other ones were way more complicated and took way more time to explain and to do. And you can do this for many, many different other types of functionalities. These blueprint interfaces really come in handy when you have multiple items that could be sort of like the same type, but they are different actors. And if we didn't have this blueprint interface, we would have like cast to the carrot. Then if it fails, then we cast to stone. If it fails, then we cast to stick, stick and so forth, which would take like a lot of space in here. But these blueprint interfaces are really neat and, and very, very compact. So this is going to be it for this tutorial. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to leave in the comment section down below what kind of tutorials you want me to do next. I have a plan for a few tutorials, but if you have like a specific desire that I haven't spoken about yet, then feel free to leave your ideas down in the comment section down below. And I'm going to get to it as soon as I have time for that. See ya!